Good afternoon and welcome to the Red Couch here at PCIM in Nuremberg. My name is Michael Brunner, I'm the editor-in-chief of the E&E magazine and during the whole trade show we talk to uh, important people through the industry about topics that are moving in the industry right now. And you can watch us here live or you can watch the video videos later on at YouTube or at our Facebook channel. And right now I would like to welcome Wolfgang Ademar, CEO of CT Concept, and we will talk about current trends in power electronics. Welcome. Thank you. Herr Ademar, electric vehicles, renewable energies, power electronics seem to become more and more important. How do you evaluate these developments? You're right. Um, those applications uh, become actually very popular. So I want to highlight that uh, power electronics has been very important over the past decades. Um, but it's more trendy now and we appreciate that trend. Your products are specially designed for higher currents. So is this development an advantage for you? In fact, our dedication is to high power and um, the market which we are in has been a niche in the past. And uh, with, with the trends going towards higher power, all the applications which are in energy generation, energy transmission, and as well as energy consumption, of course, uh, we are participating in this overproportional growth in that market. So for us, it's actually a very good thing. And uh, we feel like you know, being more exposed and getting actually more attention, not only of the press. So it's not only trendy, it's also good for business. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. So there's also uh, happening a lot, technologically, technologically speaking, um, regarding packaging, materials. Uh, how does this affect your product portfolio? Actually, we are tracking this um, technology speaking and the technology trends which are behind very closely. Uh, we have seen a lot of evolution in the so-called established technologies like IGBT. IGBTs have actually become pretty much faster over time. And we have actually also, you know, enabled those technologies to become efficient in the application. And we are looking forward to do the same for the new materials, actually. They are putting more requirements in terms of controls for the user. And we will contribute in terms of enabling the user to make efficient use of those technologies. But that does mean um, technologies you have been working with for lots of years like IGBTs are still important to you and still important for, for what you're doing. Yes, in fact these uh, technologies, established technologies like IGBT, I'm quite sure they will remain in the market for, for a very long time. And um, the, the, the new materials we ha will have kind of, you know, entry in that market in the high performance sectors. I imagine that they will play a very soon a, a significant role in the el electric vehicle space and also in special applications like solar. But the mainstream, due to cost reasons, will remain for IGBT for the time being. Um, you have a very narrow, very focused portfolio. How can you be successful with that? Because we are focused. I guess, you know, one of the key statements which I can give is that because we are so focused about one topic has made us um, has made us successful now with you know the, the business business growing out of the niche we can scale up very easily our business and um, we will also keep focused and we will you know keep on offering those solution level to our customers which they accept and which makes us a, a broader access or gives us a broader access to the market as a whole. The demands and requirements of the customers are getting more and more sophisticated. How important are customized developments and product adaptations for a city concept? Yeah, I just talked about the solution offering and the, the, actually our product portfolio, what we have. And one of the key questions is always how much of solution does a customer wants to have from us? This question cannot easily be answered. It depends very much on the capabilities of the customer, on the quantities, on the focus of the customer. And therefore, we offer quite a, a variety of products in terms of 
offering core products, which offer simply a core functionality, up to complete solutions where the customer just have the plug and play functionality, which we actually invented in 1998 for the first time for this market. And we also deal a lot with custom specific designs. So you are right, this is becoming more and more uh, attractive to customers because we offer them a proprietary solution, but at the same time, we build on our core technologies, which are high volume technologies. So last year has been the 25th anniversary of the company. This year, you had a very big change. Yeah, the acquisition by power integrations. What does that mean for your company, for your products, maybe for your customers? Yeah, that's a, I was waiting for this question. Um, actually, we had a very intense last year, as you can imagine. And um, from today's point of view, we, have, we are really convinced that with PI, we have found a very good home for our people and for our products and our company as a well. whole. PI has a lot of similarities with us. They also share our business model in terms of being fabulous. They also share the passion for integrating in high voltage. They also have the, the clear ambition to be focused around a certain topic, which is you know, dealing in high voltage area. And of course, they are really professionals in managing IP, which for us is of high interest looking forward to protect our business. And therefore, we see a lot of you know, leverage. And um, of course, we also can contribute to the success of the common companies, as we have a very good market access to the industrial field, uh, where PI is typically you know, strong in the consumer space. So we will make a very good approach for high voltage products in future uh, over the whole power range, actually. But still as CT concept. So our, we will, of course, you know, uh, keep our brand name because we have put a lot of efforts into that. We are well perceived in the market. Everybody knows us. So we will keep the brand name. But of course, we will use a very strong infrastructure of PI worldwide. Right now, you're working on a new technology platform, Scale 3. What can we expect from it in terms of technology, of course? And when will it be released? As this is an uh, interview which is, you know, going to be public, uh, I don't tell you too much. <laughs> but but let's, let's put it this way. We are uh, keep on integrating, so we integrate further. For everybody who's in that business, he will think, okay, what can they do further? So have a look at our booth, I can show you. Um, secondly, we will increase flexibility for the user. So programmability, of course, always is a topic. And uh, on the wish list of our customers, we will address this to some degree. And of course, we will keep simplicity. So a good design always is also a simple design, at least to the outside, even if we have the, all the complex things inside. And uh, we are you know, intending to release this scale 3 technology in 2014 and really making this benchmark, also addressing all the new material uh, switches in that case. Finally, what are you expecting in power electronics within the next years? And what do you expect for your company or your two companies maybe right now? That's a good question. Uh, it's a very generic question, but I, I, I have some thoughts on that. Actually, power electronics will become even more popular. If you look, have a look to the ads in the magazines, you know, everybody is looking for engineers who are experienced in high power. So that's good. I like that. And we will uh, also participate you know, in creating demand for talents here. Um, what I foresee is that power electronics you know, will, be, will reach every area in the world. So what we do is we enable a lot of customers who lack know-how today to create their you know, inverter solution or their uh, electric vehicle, which works properly, to the sake of us all. Because at the end of the day, the more we have this uh, efficient power electronics in place, the more we save energy. So that's, at the end of the day, our goal. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the Red Couch talk about current trends in power electronics, live from PCIM. Herr Adema. 
thank you very much for being our guest. And thank you, everybody, for watching and listening. And if you are interested, you can find this interview and all of the other interviews we're doing here at the Published Industry YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Thank you.